Okay, so it, it goes to your video about the uh, about FS twenty three or twenty four, whatever the heck they're gonna call it. Twenty five. Uh, we're uh, everyone guesses it's gonna be called twenty five because it's always called the next year. Oh, okay. So FS twenty five. Are do do you know? What are you expecting to see in it? Are we going to get a new crop? What could that new crop be? Are we going to get new productions? Or what What do we know we're probably going to see? Because it looks like they've been adding new crops every year for the last two games. So, the way this is, this is me and the way I know the gaming and the way I, I've observed Giants and what I've heard from other bigger guys. I see, I see potential in a new crop. Now, do we know what crop it is? No. Is it a good chance it's going to be a lame crop? Highly. What uh, was, do so, I? Go ahead. What What would make it a lame crop? What What do you count as a lame crop? So another cereal crop. So um, you get like another cereal crop and stuff like that. Something like we already have now. I want something that's a little bit more engaging. Carrots was a really big step in my opinion. Um, I feel like that's actually one of the most uh, unappreciated DLCs right now for 19. Okay. I so, mean, not for 1922. So I, so I knew, because like, I remember when the game came out, there was grapes. Yep. And I then I heard you mention carrots, and I went, there's carrots now? Yeah, there's uh, they added, they're they starting to add fruits in now to the game as a harvestable. Um, technically, carrots do count underneath that category, I believe, is what they counted as said. Do they? How do? Uh, how do you harvest the carrots? Do they have their own stuff, or can you harvest it with a potato and the beet harvester? Uh, they have their own harvesters. Oh my gosh! They have more stuff to buy. <laughs> yeah, no, they. Yeah, you legitimately now you can find a mod that you can harvest everything with with just one vehicle. Oh yeah, but that's not realistic, or is it realistic? No, it's not whatsoever. Yeah, I didn't. Think not that. whatsoever. Now, what? I mean, but that's why it kind of is like a crop like that. Now, an interesting crop to me would be onions, because you have to do more with that. Mm. In uh, peanuts. Peanuts is the most likely to me, because mm. I don't know of a onion harvester. The only way I know of harvesting onions is going outside and picking them up off the ground after they flip them. So I don't know of another way to harvest onions other than that. <laughs> Could you imagine that in Farm Sim? <laughs> like, oh, you got hours. Huh? You'll be sitting there for hours doing that one. <laughs> you got to hire. So you, <laughs> can you, so like, think about like there's other crops, right? Where the only way to harvest them is by hand. There is no other mm -hmm. option right now anyways. Can you imagine them adding like crops to that in the game, and then you just, you just, you have a field full of people going and harvesting it? That would be, mm, mm, that would not look good. good without context. That'd be a good uh, community event right there. That would be an awesome. Well, you could definitely do a mod. Somebody can make a mod. And then do a community event. There you go. There's a free live stream idea. Listen, but here's your problem: is a lot of people nowadays when you do those community live streams, you want to have the console as well because you want console players to be able to join. Because I'm a firm believer: if you're going to do something for your community, do it for all platforms. Don't just do it for one. Yeah. Um, now, of course, I can't lie. I, all my personal videos that I make for the channel are not for all platforms, mm -hmm. nor will they ever be. Because I mean. You can do a lot of cool stuff with the current game engine if you know how to use it right. I Even though it sucks. I always remember Buck back in the day. I don't know. I don't know if he's that like that now. But everybody, everybody would just be like, "Where? What about? What's this mod? What's this mod?" And he's just like, "It's not on console. Not on console. Stop asking. It's not coming to console. I can't make it come to console. Stop asking." And oh my god, I never thought. What. I always, when I see when I see that in videos, I'm like, there's no way that they, those people can't be real. And then I I've made some videos and they've gotten some comments, and I and my, my I just go to the comment and I'm like, did you actually watch the video or did you watch the first five minutes and then be and then go and write the angry comment? 
because there was this uh, this podcast I did where we talked about burning treated wood and how you're not supposed to do it. My cousin had no idea you weren't supposed to burn treated wood. Like, I'm like, what? And I told him, yeah, no, you can't burn treated wood. And I'm like, this is a great podcast title, Should You Burn Treated Wood? And it's gotten, I shouldn't say decent views because 30 views is not decent, but compared to two views, compared to what most of the podcasts get, that's pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, it's doing all right. And this person was just like, you should really like, in like, you really need to like redo this video, take it down and like express how dangerous burning tree wood. I'm like, I say it. I'm like, did you? I'm like, I say in the video, do not burn treated wood. I told them it was me. I was the one in the view that told them, yeah, you know, you can't burn it. It's it, it's made with arsenic. And he, he was the one that's like, are they all made with arsenic? I'm like, yes. Do not burn treated wood. They're either, they're either made with creosote or arsenic. There's no other in-betweens. Both mm-hmm. are horrible to burn. He didn't, he didn't understand that. And this commenter is, is is just, I think they only listened to what Phil said. They didn't listen to anything that I said, which was, don't do it. <laughs> it's just... People, I, people don't listen. Or... you got this situation where you got those little kids. The reason we receive so many questions, it's just kids. Oh, the, like, the I, I guarantee that every person that I, I comments that easily says it probably about 12 years old. If not younger, I mean that, that's why I try not to cuss anymore because there's a whole generation of kids looking. I mean, according to my YouTube analytics, there's at least uh, fifteen thousand kids. You know, what I mean, looking up to me as Oof. an adult making content. You yeah, know what I mean, so that uh, that's scary at times. <laughs> that that yeah, that that that's when I'm like, thank God, I make science and kids don't care about science. <laughs> I wish they did. I it'd be great if kids watched it, but it's like, whew, thank God, because then I can kind of just play fast and loose with safety. See, I I don't tend to. Not always. I am I'm very safe. I literally just bought a face shield the other day because it'd been on my list of things to get. So it's like I, I have all kinds of safety glasses. I've got gloves and. I, I am I just don't have like a lab coat or apron, but otherwise I'm pretty safe. And what's interesting is a lot of people would say I'm unsafe because I a lot of times when I'm doing stuff outside with chemicals or anything, I don't wear sleeves. You shouldn't wear sleeves. It's it, it's in some cases it is better for the chemical to end up on your skin th- than it is for it to end up on your lab coat because mm-hmm. it will react with the lab coat faster. Then your skin causing a fire, because they're usually made of polyester, which is highly resistant, but not impossibly resistant. And so, which then catches fire, which then burns you. <laughs> so, unintentional safety. People just don't understand the way the world works. I mean, you have those people that on YouTube think they know every bit of knowledge that you know nothing Compared yep. to them, and it's aggravating. Oh yeah, it, it was. It, or the, there was a time where somebody would ask, or or it, a lot, well, kids. It always irritates me because it's like they always like, "Where's this thing?" And it's like it's in the description. Or they ask a comment, and they're like, "Why didn't you do this?" I'm like, "Did you read the description?" It's in the description. Like if there is something I missed in the video, I put it in the description. It sounds like pinned comments are the way to go now. And I never understand, like, oh, where's the link to this thing? Did you go to the description? And I remember this this kid that watches me. I'm like, he left a comment on the video. And he literally asked this question. Worded it just the way I knew they would ask. And I said, did you read the description? And he went, no. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, well, there's your problem. It's in the description. I'm not answering it. I even said in the video, I'm not answering it. It's going to be in the description. You're going to have to go to the description and read the description. Now, granted, I guess, if you have kids watching, the description's a bad place because they might not be able to read. Yeah. Which is a wild thing. I remember one time, you know, you, you see the bad grammar and you're like, what in the world? You're like, oh, this kid is, this person's 11 years old. They can't, I mean, they can't write. They might be able to read. 
that I should be able to read, but, you know, sometimes when you're someone like me, I use words that, let's face it, 11-year-olds probably don't know. Actually, I, uh, on Wednesdays, I volunteer at my old high school, and I coach speech, and I wrote a speech, and one of the kids there, she's going to give it, and she was reading the speech, and she's like, what's this word? I'm like, you're 14 years old, and you don't know of this word. She's like, no, and I'm like, I knew that word when I was 14. Why did, why did, granted, I was a nerd, but still, I'm like, what? I'm like, what? It, I mean, it's kind of a weird thing. I don't remember, like, oh, these people that just straight up just don't know because they just haven't lived long enough. Isn't that a wild concept? No, oh, yeah. I mean, believe it or not, no one believes this one. I don't do comments. I don't do uh, descriptions. Hmm. I yeah. don't put, uh, I don't put like any, uh, what's it called? Any like important information in the description other than like partners, like with G portal and stuff like that. Mm. Uh, my American farming links, just like friends and stuff like that. That's pretty much all I put in there is because I know the kids who are watching, they don't care about that description. Nope. And, and to be honest with you, I've proven YouTube don't care about that description either. Because and, and I know you're right about that because mobile, you have to hunt for the description. Oh yeah, and I'm like what? Because a lot of times they're like somebody like go to the link and I'm like oh I actually want to see this product they're making, or or, the, the, or this website like oh I want to buy that product in the video. I go to the description and I'm just like what? What? What is this? It's usually a disaster, and and you're just like what? Mm -hmm. well, a lot of times it's just not linked and I just go like seriously I oh, might have actually favorite. bought insert product here and I can't thanks my, my, my favorite is when people say oh, I'll put the link in the description never put the link they never do now I've done that ac accidentally there's actually accidentally and doing it all the time like I, I know a youtuber that he said that he says he has his Discord link in his description. He does not. I have a Discord link in my description. It doesn't work, but no one ever asks, <laughs> so I never care. No one ever joins, and no one ever. There's nothing in the dis Discord anyway, so it doesn't matter. But it's there. <laughs> All these links are there. No one ever uses them, but they are there. It was the craziest thing, right? I remember on the stream one time, I'm like, yeah, I have other channels. They're like, really? And they go to my main channel, and they're like, oh, I didn't know that. What? what? They put two and two together, people. Then rocket science. No, well, that's granted. just like me with my second channels. I mean, I used to do the second channels until I just realized they're a lot of work. <laughs> well... There, I've been being discouraged by podcasts recently because it's just like I go through all this work on these podcasts. I'm just like, these are never going to work. But I'm just like, I don't know, sunk cost fallacy. I'm this far into it. Might as well just keep going. Whatever. Yeah. I did take like the last three weeks off because it was just I didn't feel like doing a podcast during the week and then editing it. And It's been nice. Now I'm doing two podcasts in one week and I'm like, hmm. I hate myself, apparently. <laughs> apparently, I'm just like, went three weeks without any of that worry and stress. Now it's just like, here we go. Now I got to do it. The worst thing. I do that to myself every now and then. I'll sit there and I'll like get, I'll sit there and get like two weeks ahead on recordings. I'll be like two weeks ahead. I won't worry. But then in the back of my mind, I'll get lazy. Yep. I'll only start doing the bare minimum just to make it flow, and by the end of that month, I am sitting there one day recording nine videos. That's me with the dishes. <laughs> yep, they, they were piling up this week, and the worst part was I could have kept going a few more days without doing the dishes, and I was just like, I just staring at my freaking kitchen countertop, and I'm just like, this is a disaster. An absolute disaster. And then I, I opened up the the dishwasher to like put dishes in there last night and I went 
shit. This is half full already. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. I mean, the only reason I like staying on schedule, though, is because when you got people you pay, you want to respect their time. I mean, uh, I mean, my editor, I got to give him credit. He put us up with a lot of projects last second. Uh, there, uh, there's no telling how many times I've given him a project that's due within four hours. Oh. <laughs> he loves me on that on those days. Um, mm. I've done it twice, uh, tw- about two or four. But usually, I give him at least twelve hours on notice. Twelve hours. I couldn't. That, 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 that's, yeah, that, that's being there. late. That that's like being really late with the video. We try to stay at least two days ahead. Like right now, as I currently sit. I am one about one day. So technically, I'm two days ahead. But I can't. but what's wrong? Oh, I just I've got a video coming up in February that I know is going to take eight hours of editing minimum. Because the last one I did, so like I have the style of Run. a video. That the last time I did it, it took me eight hours to edit it. It was insane. I've never had a video take that long to edit. And it took me eight hours. It would have taken me more time, but my editor couldn't handle what I was doing and kept crashing anytime I tried to do any changes to the end. They were very minor changes. It was like, do this, do that, but it couldn't it could not handle it. Um like it's good enough as is no one's really going to make it to this last part of the video anyways. It's just the wrap-up. I don't need this part. It's fine as is. And I just sent it. Now, for the next time I do it, so this one that's due in February, that I haven't even written, may I remind you, I haven't written it. I haven't filmed it. It's just an idea <laughs> that's been written on my board for like ooh, four months, four or five months. It's just been sitting there taunting me. I have to sit down. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it. It's going to be a great video. I'm. I absolutely love the idea. It's a cool idea. But God, it's Man. gonna take. It's gonna take some time. time Man, that I wish I had that. Time that I'm slowly Four. running out on, and that I need to actually start working on it. I haven't had to. I started doing videos where I didn't have to write anymore because I was just tired of writing scripts and having to like halfway memorize a script and read off the teleprompter behind me. I gave mm-hmm. up, so I was like, "All right, let's 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 do it this way." Now, I this video idea came to me on the way to work one day, I think, and I was just like, mm-hmm. "Damn, that's a good idea. I really like that." But anyways, uh, well, oh, good. I thought that said 50, one hour, 51 minutes, and I was about to uh, about to throw a fit. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. I don't know what happened to us. To sc- this is how these podcasts always go. I'm always like, yeah, sure, let's do one more segment. We'll discuss this thing. We'll discuss it for five minutes, and then it turns into something else. It's always how it is. How it is. Do you have any final words for the kiddos, bef- uh, kid? <laughs> one person that watches these podcasts. Any final words before I end it? Take every day as it could be your last. Remember, nothing's too big. You can always handle it all. And if you don't believe me, look at Buck. He's still he's still around. So Absolutely. That's gotta say something for the world. Certainly does. Anyways, I'd like to go off watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Podcasts are back uh, every every month, every Friday, hmm. noon Central Time, and uh, good night. <laughs>